Transformations. This is a digital lesson, and this one is pirate themed. So it covers the transformations of reflection, translation, dilation, and rotation around the origin. It starts with the definition of what transformation means and what it means in mathematics. Slide three has the, uh, all of the transformations students are going to be uh, looking at in this lesson. So they can refer back to slide three if they need a review of what these things mean. So we're going to start with reflection. So this is a lot of fun for the students. They're going to use the fill color feature of Google Slides. And they're going to show this reflection across the y-axis, which means this figure is going to be uh, shown over here on the other side of the y-axis, equal distance from the y-axis, and a mirror image. So to do that, students just click and hold in the squares that they want to color in. They come up here to the fill color feature, and they can choose any color they like. So they can only fill in a rectangle at a time. So in this one would be three steps. Click and hold where they want, and then come up here and choose a color. So that's a reflection across the y-axis. The next one is also a reflection across the y-axis. So they're going to reflect this T-shape in two different ways. On this slide, again, they're just going to click and hold. And they can choose a different color if they like. And that's a reflection across the y-axis. The next slide, they're going to take that same T-shape, and they're going to reflect it across the x-axis. So it's going to look a little bit different this time. Now, the next uh, reflection is reflection across a line. So this time it's the line x equals 1. So it's going to be equal distance from this line on the left-hand side and a mirror image. Next slide has reflection across uh, the line y equals negative 1. And then it shows students what to do when they're reflecting across a line, but their figure is already partially across that line. So these two points here on the line act like a hinge. And if they just flip this up, this is what it would look like. This would be a reflection. Students are going to do that on the next slide. Then we're going to move on to translation. So translation is just moving a figure up, down, left, or right without changing its orientation. So the first one, it says translate this figure, moving six units to the right. So students are just going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, shade it in, and then they have a trans translation. The next few, they're going to have more than one movement. So here they're going to translate this figure four units to the left and then two units down. And then same thing on the next two two different trans translations on the same figure. Then we move on to rotation. So this is rotation around the origin. And it gives the formula for the students. So if we rotate this triangle counterclockwise 90 degrees, that would put it into quadrant 3. So students are going to take each of these points. Each point has two coordinates. And using this formula, going to find the, the next point that's counterclockwise 90 degrees. So for example, this point here is negative 1, 2. If we put it in the formula, it's going to be negative 2, negative 1. So they're just going to click and hold on this point, move it to negative 2, negative 1. The next point, negative 1, 4, is now going to be negative 4, negative 1. And then negative 3, 2 will be negative 2, negative 3. Now they've rotated it 90 degrees. And so these lines here, they can click and hold and move them to finish their shape. There's a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. 
the next one, uh, another triangle. This time they're going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. It has a little bit different formula. So we're going to take each of these points on the triangle and using this formula, because it's clockwise 90 degrees, this one will also be in quadrant three. And then a rotation 180 degrees, which would place this figure in the opposite quadrant, quadrant four, using this formula. Now then when they get to the final um, rotation, they've got three different movements. So they're going to have this figure and they're going to show it rotating all the way around the origin. So three different rotations and all of the formulas are in here at the top of the slide. Now all of the completed slides are available for the teacher so that'll make it easier to check for the student's work. Then we go into dilation. Dilation is changing a figure, keeping its size um, or keeping its shape and changing its size. So if we dilate a figure with a scale factor of two, that means it's going to be two times larger. So we're going to take the coordinates of each of the points and multiply them by two. So the point one, one will now be two, two. The point negative one, one will be negative two, two, and so on. So we're just going to complete this figure. It's two times larger because the scale factor is two, and then just use these bars, move them into place to complete the shape, and so on. The next one is a triangle. So again, we're going to take, uh, this is a scale factor of three. So we're going to take the coordinates of each point, multiply them by three. And then if you have a scale factor uh, that is a fraction less than one, that means your figure is now going to be smaller. So in this case, we're going to take the coordinates of each of these corner points, and we're going to multiply them by one half or divide by two to get us a figure that's two times smaller. Okay, and then the last uh, transformation has two different transformations on one slide. So here we're going to take this and translate it five units to the left and then reflect it over the x-axis. So that will put it in quadrant three. The final slide is just a review of all the vocabulary. We've got these sentence frames. Students are just going to click and hold and move these into the correct place in the sentence frame as a review for what each one of these transformations mean. So this is a digital lesson on transformations. This is the pirate version.